Today is another great day. I received a couple of packages. Um, I, I read an article about, um, what do you call it? Heirloom type cabbages. And I bought the Trochunda over here from Pine Tree Seeds. And I bought uh, January King cabbage which I got, I already um, made a little bit of a video about that, I think yesterday. And I also got uh, Early Jersey Wakefield. And I think on the way is still um, cow cabbage, Jersey cabbage, which is a tall walking stick type thing. So anyway, I'm just really excited to get those. Uh, I already planted the early Jersey Wakefield and I planted the January King and I'm about to plant this Trachunda which is uh, it's, uh I guess it's called a uh, non-heading cabbage but it's uh it looks almost like collard greens it has a very thick I think um juicy stem that they say you can use like Swiss chard which which is interesting but anyway um, I'm about to plant that and I also got today um, this package which I'm trying to open up right now with um, holy cow it's heavy right, so in this heavy package and it should be heavy because it's 20 pounds is uh, azomite which I'm very excited about I can't wait it's actually Kind of drizzling out, so I can't wait to um, uh, put it out, sprinkle some on the plants so that they can get nicely watered in by the delicious rain. Thank you, Zach. Zach just watered across the street, so and now it's gonna rain, so isn't that wonderful? Yeah, isn't that fantastic? Whatever. I mean, that's just the way. I mean, it's, they're getting it's watered, Murphy's so mom. that's fine. Well, either way, they're getting good water, so it might only drizzle, but it looks pretty, pretty menacing. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so I decided to sprinkle this on my little seedlings here. This is collard greens. Um, there's a lot of. What do you call it? Um, what do you call these things? Fungus gnats flying around. And hoping that they will be deterred a little bit by this stuff. And I'm thinking of that I'm gonna go ahead and just pull all the spinach and just cut my losses because this um this thing with the leaf miner is just absolutely demoralizing me. So I'm um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the spinach. It's raining. And um, I'm hoping that that'll kind of slow down the leaf miner on the beets. But of course <laughs> whatever, I'm I'm not gonna freak out about it. I'm just gonna stop worrying about it. But, um, really, if anybody knows how to handle this stuff better than what I've been showing you, please let me know. I guess I was thinking I was going to put, um, use some, uh, yellow bags, you know, using the idea that, using the idea that you can use those yellow sticky, sticky papers sticky cardboard things um, to attract the leaf miner and basically kill them. I don't know if that works, but I'm going to try that. I'm going to really try that. Put some uh, petroleum jelly on them and see if it helps. So anyway, I don't know. See how it goes. Did I say Trochunda is Tronchuda? Tronchuda. So anyway, I just planted these here, and it's raining, so 
I'm not gonna water them now. I'm just gonna let the rain do its good thing. And hopefully I don't get soaked too, but um anyway. I had every intention of cleaning out my coop today, but the rain is not really it's not really good to do that in the rain I guess. I mean I don't wanna get I don't wanna make them nasty mucky mess so I'm hoping that we can do that tomorrow anyway I think this is it though thanks for watching